Okay, so this is the shack valve assembly. Um, it consists of two parts. We have the actual check valve, that's the brass part down here, and then there's a solenoid valve, um, a magnetic valve, that sits on top. And you can see this is the air intake, that's where the compressor pump will pump in air. Um, it's screwed to the tank so the air can go into the tank and on top is the solenoid valve. What the check valve does is it prevents any air coming back out of the tank into either of these exits. The solenoid valve is used for removing the air from the um, from the pipe and from the compressor pump after it's done. And this solenoid valve is electric, so it will it is usually permanently open so air can go from the pump through here and out into the open but as soon as electricity is in on uh, this valve will close and the only way that air can go is down into the tank okay let's have another look at the check valve how does it work um, here's my old one that I just replaced. Um, that's the brass part uh, we've just seen. So this part here, uh, it screws into the tank. This part is where the air goes in. And this part is where the solenoid uh, valve sits on. So how does it work? Um, we can unscrew the front part here. And we see there's a little plastic thingy on a spring. And we can look into the inside here. So, no surprise, there's like a big hole coming from the air intake and a big hole that's going into the tank. And those two are, of course, connected. But as you can see, there's a little hole up here. Can I make this better focused? Yeah, like this. So, and that little hole is going up to the solenoid valve. Um, the interesting thing is um, we have this this ring here, and the little hole is behind that ring. What that means is this spring thingy sits on top here, and it closes the ring, and that will prevent any air going either back into the pump or out into the into the open. As you can see, the, the spring is really flimsy, so how does this work? Um, it works basically by air pressure. So if this sits on here and there's pressure in the tank, then this whole chamber here has a much higher pressure than these two parts have. They basically form one system. So it means the air pressure will press on this little plastic thingy and close the ring that, that is in there. But when we want to fill the, the tank, um, the pump will push air in here which will have a higher pressure than what's in the tank. And that will push on this little spring and push away the little plastic thingy. And that way air can go through here. So for that to work, this one, this part here needs to be closed. And that's what the solenoid valve will do. So here's the solenoid valve. Um, it comes with this part, which is basically an electromagnet. And it wraps around this brass fitting thingy. And when we take off this metal plate, we can actually take it out. And we can see there's another spring-loaded metal thingy in it. Um, 
and in in this position where where there's no electricity no magnetic force uh it's open and there are like little little grooves that let air through here and out to the other side um but as soon as there's electricity a magnet will pull this in and close the valve um, and that's how it works the big silver thingy here is basically just a silver block with a hole in it so it moves the air through here so how does it all work um, as soon as we turn on the compressor the solenoid valve will be um, under power it will activate the valve closing it basically here the pump will run applying pressure into the uh, intake hole that pushes the little springy thing out of the way and fills the tank once the pump is deactivated the solenoid valve will power off open and release all the remaining pressure that's still in the pipe and in the pump and that will go out through this way so how do you know if your check valve is broken um, basically what can happen is that the little spring thingy in here gets somehow stuck and isn't really closing the little metal ring how will you notice uh, well you will lose air pressure and you will lose air pressure uh, out of the tank back into the pump and because when there's no electricity this one this valve is open you will also lose pressure out through this valve so you can actually feel air going out of this little hole there so if that's happen if that is happening then it's most likely a problem with the check valve in here and the easiest way to diagnose and fix this i believe is just unscrewing this front part having a look at the spring and little plastic thingy it is very unlikely i believe that anything else in this assembly should break so completely replacing it like i did is probably overkill